Do you think your wife is not respecting you enough? To all their wives, do you think or your husbands are not loving you enough? Uh, we have a very interesting topic. This is from a book called Love and Respect by Emerson and we are Kathik and Sahana. We'll share some nuggets about this. Yeah, so I would like to start with a small story that the author was talking about. So he's in a room sitting and, you know, uh, with, his, with his computer and deep in his thoughts and his wife is on the, in the other room making her usual chores and listening to the radio with loud, loud volume. And... Uh, this was actually disturbing the author's uh, thoughts and he shouts from the, screw, from the room he's sitting in, are you listening? And he doesn't hear a response and he stresses, are you listening? He still doesn't hear a response and he says, are you listening? And uh, she turns out, yells at him and says, I'm trying to listen but you're not letting me to. And um, so this creates a little, little bit of a friction and they get into an argument. Um, basically, she wanted him to listen to what she was trying to listen. But uh, he was like, when you're not listening to it, why is the uh, volume so loud? It's disturbing me as well. So basically, there was no communication happening and his tone was different while he was talking. So you may be right, but your tone... I will might, might not be right so your tone might be higher than what you were trying to make a point on uh, exactly like uh, she was talking about the communication part right so here we we know this uh, decode and encode option we do right but uh, we have to do the same it say the same principle applies in the communication also for uh, take an example so uh, the author also talks and i have observed uh, in uh, us also uh, she tells like when we want to get ready like uh, i don't have any new clothes to wear i'll be wondering seeing the cupboards you have so many clothes what she means is she doesn't have new clothes to wear okay same thing like uh, with me when i say when i want to get ready i i'll say like, i don't have any clothes to wear so she sees my wardrobe and she tells uh, you have so many clothes to wear uh, what I mean is I don't have anything clean or neat or iron uh, dress, uh, clothes to wear. So this communication cup code we have to encode and decode. It's not like as it is sometimes. So there was a survey that happened and uh, they asked men, uh, you know, we give you two negative situations and you will choose which one of the two would you're okay about. And they give two, basically they're giving two negative situations. And the first situation is to be left alone, but unloved. The second one is to be disrespected. And uh, it says that 74% of the people chose to be unloved and left alone than to be disrespected. So basically respect is the man's love language. So uh, for him, um, it comes first. It's more than love for him. The way you respect him is the way you give him love. That's what uh, even the survey says. So I'm not saying the survey thing right now. <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's a very it's a important, crucial to, uh, thing what she shared, and it's a biggest secret because if we go out, we have seen so many stuff which revolves around love, but we rarely see stuff which revolves around respect. See, uh, like uh, how how do we show love, like? uh let's take we, we'll go to a, a greeting card shop okay so you you see a lot of greeting cards uh, on love but uh, you rarely see a greeting card which says baby i respect you i have never personally found any greeting card uh, like that so th this is a biggest secret and very crucial point men really crave for respect okay i i think you will all agree with this we crave for respect so author talks about a concept called pink sunglasses and blue sunglasses. So basically, uh, we as women see through our pink sunglasses and the men see through their blue sunglasses. So basically the decoding happens in the, not the right way. So uh, when we see, we will have to um, think about how your spouse would be able to react or how they will be able to take uh, your reaction. So. For them, they spell love as respect and we spell love as love. We need to be adored and we need to be, uh, you know, treated like a princess. But to treat, to be treated like a princess, you should first treat, like a, you treat your husband like a prince. And that prince is looking for your respect. 
yeah like uh, uh, we have something called a crazy cycle and an energizing cycle uh, if, like if uh, if you if you feel your wife is not uh, respecting you enough just check if her love tank is getting filled and in case if your uh, husband is not loving you enough just check if respect that tank is getting filled because if it is not if, uh, if the love tank is not getting filled see you you see sometimes the wife criticizes or complains and sometimes if the husband is very harsh or if the husband is silent so you have to see if the tanks are getting filled appropriately and uh, yeah uh, while uh, we end this uh, for today i just want to show this uh, crazy cycle and energizing cycle so that's what i meant if you don't if your love tank is not filled she reacts if without respect he reacts so next week we'll be talking about the energizing cycle so how we can break the cycle and move it with the very interesting examples and principles from the book Thank you.